favorite Louisville Slugger. Get in trouble. You know me. Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In last week's video, we were in Indiana, where we took a walk on the wild side at the Indianapolis Zoo, had lunch at an amazing new food hall, and got up close and personal with Larger Than Life Park. This week, we're in the Bluegrass State. Welcome to Kentucky. Kentucky! Most famously known for its bluegrass, bourbon, fried chicken, and horse racing. Today we're going to be exploring the city of Louisville and getting a taste of what Kentucky has to offer. If you're interested in our itinerary of the best things to do, see, and eat here in Louisville, check out the link in the description for your free printable. We're going to get our day started with some much needed caffeine at one of the best coffee shops in town called Please and Thank You. Let's go! takeout only and it is so cold today <laughs> so we got our little snacks and our drinks and we're going back to the car <laughs> so i got their famous chocolate chip cookie and i got their homemade oatmeal cream pie you got almond chai i just got black coffee please and thank you because i need this oh coffee man this i was falling asleep in the car <laughs> so I think it's gonna be oh my gosh time. that's so good yeah. i'm gonna try mine Oh yeah. Thank you, please, and thank you. Oh, that's a good one. Right? It's spicy too. Yeah. <laughs> Solid black coffee. Good. It's smooth. All right, so I'm gonna try they say that these chocolate chip cookies are the best in Kentucky, so uh, it's a pretty bold statement. You try it. That's pretty darn good. That's a good chocolate chip cookie. It really is. It's got a Nice crisp mm. on the outside, but it's nice and mm. melty and gooey on the inside. Yeah. I haven't mm. had all of the cookies in Kentucky, so I don't yeah, know so if it's the best. I can't but say if it's the best or not. It's pretty darn it's really good. good. Look at this right here. That oatmeal cream pie. Is it That's good? a hearty breakfast oatmeal cream pie. Matt at first saw the cookie, the chocolate chip cookie that we were going to share, and he was like, I need something more than yeah, that. that. One little cookie for us. Thumbs up, please and thank you. Mm -hmm. This is our eighth state out of 50 that we're going to be visiting this year, so if you would like to follow along on this journey with us, please go hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. We put out a new video every Thursday, so make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you won't miss out. And you can follow us on Instagram at Adventures of Matt and Nat. Now that we've gotten some caffeine in our system, we are now on Museum Row and we're about to check out Fraser History Museum. Which is a museum that gives an in-depth look at the history of Kentucky. It's also a Smithsonian affiliate and the official starting point for the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. It's actually closed today, so we're going to get a private tour of this awesome <laughs> museum. So let's go. So the museum was founded in 2004. We have the Kentucky Bourbon Trail Welcome Center. All of this experience is free. We That's help great. them with, if they have a certain budget, they want to end in a different part of the state. Everybody's travel experience is different. Yeah. So that concierge service uh, is part of what we do at no cost. We also have a multi-million dollar exhibit on the third floor of the Spirit of Kentucky Bourbon Exhibition. And then we do bourbon programming. Then we decided to build this, which is Cool Kentucky. It is everything that's cool about the state of Kentucky. You know, the, the overalls that George Clooney wore in Oh Brother, Where Art yeah. Thou? And Tory Murphy's The Pearl and the Corvette. Of course, the Corvette's made in one place in the entire world. The only factory in Bowling Green, Kentucky. There's some really amazing sports stuff back there in competitive Kentucky.
Now let's check out the bourbon exhibit. Featuring an interactive table filled with a digital library of all things bourbon. Amazing tour guide Steven is going to give us a crash course in bourbon along with the tasting in this super cool speakeasy. The color, relatively light, and then when we're going to smell it. And when you do it, you want to have your mouth open and you're going to chew on it. That's called the Kentucky Chew. Oh. And then when you swallow it, you're going to feel that nice warm feeling. That's called the Kentucky Hug. finished here at the Fraser History Museum and wow it was amazing it really was I'm not gonna lie you know we decided we were gonna come do this tour and it was awesome we had this private tour I didn't really know what to expect and yeah and some museums aren't yeah. the best but this one especially a state museum like sometimes you're yeah. like uh, do I really care to know the history of Kentucky that much but let me tell you this is next level it was such an amazing experience it really was Matt's not a huge museum person no. so that means a lot <laughs> when Matt is into it and if you are going to do the bourbon trail this is the place you need to come I know it is the official start of the bourbon trail you gain so much so knowledge much. take a tour if you have a group that are going on the bourbon trail you guys have to book a tour here with steven he is amazing yes. we felt like we just ended up hanging out the entire morning he's a new friend with our friend and got to cut up laugh learn a whole bunch of cool stuff because he's so knowledgeable oh, yeah. but he's fun to learn from so come check it out now we're going to go check out the museum right across the street which is the louisville slugger museum where they make every louisville slugger bat right here in downtown louisville It's funny how much heavier this one feels. Oh, yeah. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth's baseball bat. It's Louisville Slugger. Isn't that cool? you're not a huge baseball fan like either of us it is still a really cool experience the history the knowledge that you gain I would totally recommend coming. absolutely and you get to go into the factory where yeah. they're actually making bats for pros where all of the bats are made this is the only place they make the bats. it was really a yeah. really cool experience we yeah. 10 out of 10 recommend and yeah. Mike our tour guide was awesome yep. so come check it out we are starving so we are headed to lunch so my old roommate Kelsey shout out to you <laughs> recommended this place it is a burger place that has exotic meats yeah it's called game and it's only what a five minute drive from downtown Louisville and we're about to go eat because we are starving I got the bomb. 
bison burger and I'm really excited about it. I was gonna get the kangaroo, but I'm just gonna stick with bison for now. And Matt got the duck burger, so let's dive in. Mm, got a cranberry jalapeno jam on it. Nice tartness, not really any spice. It's nice you get the sweetness from the jalapenos, but not much spice. As you can see, it's messy because of the fried egg. That's a really unique flavor. The duck gives it a nice flavor. So we had to run in the car because I don't think they had the heat on in there. I was so it's cold. Very cold. But the food was good. It was. It was it, a bit pricey yeah, it for is, lunch. It is definitely pricey for lunch, especially for a burger. Given it is a wild game meat, so you're going to pay more for that, obviously. But it was good. For both of us, it was about 50 bucks. Also, um, this was one of the only places open on a Monday. Just make sure you check hours and... Yes. Um, days that places are closed before you visit or you might be disappointed when you get there and the doors are locked. I would even call because Google Maps will say maybe it's open or yeah. dine-in available, but just call because that could change. finally got our postcards it took quite a number of calls yeah to figure out what stores even had them and what stores were even open but we got them here at carmichael's bookstore in tyler park yeah tyler it's park a really neighborhood. cool area really cool neighborhood so thank you all of these names down yes. below thank you for your support we would not be able to do this without you you guys are amazing thank you <laughs> if you want to check out our patreon and want to support us check out the link in the description drive around and check out downtown Louisville. check out fourth street live yeah it looks we cool have a little bit of time before our dinner reservations with all of the touristy restaurants and all that kind of stuff but it looks pretty cool so we had this discussion in new orleans because i don't say <laughs> new orleans anymore thank you to the commenters <laughs> so there is a lot of controversy that surrounds how to pronounce the name of this city. I always called it Louisville until the first time I visited and was quickly corrected <laughs> by a local. And ever since have talked to many locals and they will all tell you, and how is that Natalie? Louisville. Louisville. Like they'll tell you, it's like you have a mouthful of rocks. <laughs> Louisville. Is that what they told you? Yep. <laughs> not Louisville, not Louisville. Louisville. Not Louisville. Well, that's it what people told us. When in Rome or when in Louisville. <laughs> sad yeah just seeing how many places were closed some yeah. of them permanently just thinking how many people are without jobs but i would bet that five percent of the restaurants and bars were open if that i know out of all those places only two were open when i researched it's pretty sad really sad hopefully they yeah. survive it's rumored that f scott fitzgerald started the great gatsby here that's just cool history. It is, it really is. We all had to read that book, so it started right here <laughs> in Louisville, Kentucky. Who would have thought? So we were headed to our dinner reservation, which is at the iconic Brown Hotel. Yes, apparently they have the best hot brown. They're the that ones you who invented get. it yes. in 1926. Don't yep. ask me how I remember that. The hot brown is a Kentucky famous dish. So we couldn't come without yeah. at least trying it, and why not try it at the place that invented it? Plus, we're gonna get some derby pie, which is another famous Kentucky creation. 
Apparently it's kind of like pecan pie. So Natalie's not gonna love it, which means I get to eat it all. And I'm cool with that. I'm gonna try it, <laughs> so we'll see. finished dinner here at the Brown Hotel Bar. And it was delicious. So good. But the highlight of the night. Oh, absolute highlight. What I would it? have paid so much money for it. That derby pie. <laughs> it was oh good. Oh my gosh. So and I'm good. not even a pie person. <laughs> It was so good. It was like a oh. pecan pie consistency, but it had like a with chocolate. chocolate in it. And then they had vanilla pecan oh, ice cream they served with gosh. it. Oh gosh. With berries. So you have to come. So good. You have to come. <laughs> so that wraps up our time here in Louisville. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also make sure you guys subscribe. We put out a new video every Thursday, so hit that notification bell so you won't miss out. Also, you can follow us on Instagram for story highlights of every one of our trips. We're headed to state number nine next week, so comment below where you think we're gonna be headed. A little hint, it's where the national anthem was written. And don't Google it, just guess below. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bright, should we put our sunglasses on? Shout out to Brittany and Matt Schaefer for these sunnies, appreciate you. My lady. Get you guys a man that opens the door for you. Wait, <laughs> I'm supposed to drive. Oh, you are supposed to drive. <laughs> All right, I'll see you. <laughs> like I was built for this era of opulence. There's marble walls, marble staircases. Hideous chandeliers. It's up my alley. This could be my <laughs> house. Wallpaper. Could you okay. not? If it was free, yeah. <laughs> So while Matt was flying the drone and doing a great job at that, um, I was really busy. Yeah, um, napping in the car. Mm-hmm. I definitely got a second win though, so I'm ready to party. <laughs>